Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can create your own private cloud storage for free using your ASUS router and an external storage device. In the demonstration I'm gonna show you, I'll be using my ASUS router RTAX3000 and I'll be connecting to this ASUS router on its USB port, an external hard drive which is a Samsung 250GB hard drive that is in a Sabrent enclosure. So let's start. The first thing to do is you need to go to the administration page of your router. So here, because it's an ASUS router, you need to go to this site, router.asus.com. So this will take you to the administration page of your router. And here, log in. And when you log in to your router's administration page, you need to configure three settings. And I'm going to take you step by step each settings, what you need to configure. So let's start with configuring the first setting. The first setting is that you need to enable dynamic DNS on your router if it is not already enabled. To do this, you need to go to WAN and under WAN here, click on DDNS. And under DDNS here, notice that it is disabled now. So click on yes to enable it. Of course, if it was enabled, just take the name here, your host name, and you can use this host name to access the network from outside your home network. But in my case, it wasn't enabled. And you notice here when you enable the DNS, you have under server many options. So you can use any of these domains to create your own dynamic DNS name. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna use asus.com. So here I selected asus.com. And here under the host name, put a name that you can remember easily. So I'm gonna put here for the sake of this video, my DDNS 8974. So this is a random name. And if the name is used, asus.com will tell me. Of course, put your own name here. And under HTTP SSL certificate, I advise you to check free certificate from Let's Encrypt and it will be created automatically for you. This way the connection will be encrypted. So select it. And then here, make sure that I agree is checked and then click on apply. And wait for the settings to be applied. And you see here that it said the registration is successful. It means that the name MyDDNS8974 was not taken by anyone else. So let's click on OK. And after you enable dynamic DDNS, you need to wait a couple of minutes for Let's Encrypt to generate your certificate. In the meantime, we're going to do the second configuration. And the second configuration is under AI Cloud here. So click on AI Cloud 2.0. And you see you have three settings. The setting that is of interest to us is cloud disk. So click on the off here to toggle it to on. And wait for the settings to apply. And now the settings are applied. So now we activated our private cloud storage that can be accessed from outside our home network using the host name that we created under the DNS. Now there's still one setting that we need to activate so that to secure the connection. So this setting is under settings here, always under AI cloud. So click on settings and here you need to enable the password protection feature. So this way, if someone knows your DNS, your DDNS, they cannot break your password by brute force attack. So if they try, for instance, for a certain number of times, the user will be locked. So let me show you first enable it. And then here you need to specify the number of times they can retry with the failed login and the duration between each failed login. So this prevents the brute force attack on your network. So I'm going to keep it on five retries and then three minutes between each retry. And here we should click on apply. So the settings are applied. The third setting is that you need to give access to users for this storage. So click on USB application and then click on server center. Click on network place. And under these settings here, make sure that allow guest login is off. And you notice that on the lower section of the screen, you have here users that are permitted to access your cloud storage from outside your home network. So by default, there is an administration user that you use to log into your router's administration page. So I'm going to add a new user here. So click on the plus here, and then let's name the user KST. And let's give it 
a strong password and let me click on add and now i need to give this user access to this drive so i'm gonna select the user and then i'm gonna select the drive and here are the directory tree of the drive so let me give this user for instance for documents i'm gonna give this user read write and for photos and videos i'm gonna give this user read only and for restricted i'm not gonna give this user any access so i clicked on no and then i'm gonna click on save so now the settings will be applied so now we configured the dynamic dns we configured ai cloud storage and then we configured a user to access this ai cloud i'm gonna show you now how it works so i'm gonna connect to another network that is outside of my home network and then i'm gonna show you how it works and then later i'm gonna show you how to install also a ios application or android application that you can use on your smartphone to access your cloud storage so the settings on the router here are finished we can close this browser and i'm gonna connect to a network that is outside my home network now now i connected to another network that is outside my home network and you need to go to this address and of course go to the address of the dynamic dns name that you created in my case it is https because we included a let's encrypt certificate so you need to put https column slash slash and then the host name which is in my case my dns 8974.asuscom double m dot com and let's hit enter and here's the AI Cloud login screen. So I'm gonna use the user that I created, which is KST, and here's the password. And you see that I connected. So on the left here, click on the drive that is connected to your router. And notice here that I saw the two folders that I allowed this user to access. So photos and videos, if you remember, I allowed read only. So I'm gonna try to delete something from photos and videos. Let's say for instance, this here, let me try to delete this and it will not be deleted you see and i'm gonna click on ok so let me go to documents here so let me try to delete another file here let me click ok and you see that the file was deleted so now i'm gonna show you how you can access your cloud storage from your ios device on your smartphone start app store or google play and search for the application called Asus AI Cloud. Install the application. And after the application is installed, make sure that you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network where you configured your Asus router for AI Cloud, and then start the application. And this is important because otherwise you cannot configure the application. And this is only the first time you need to do this to configure the application. When you start the Asus AI Cloud application and while your smartphone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network where you have your Asus router configured to provide AI Cloud, it will automatically detect this and it will connect to this router. On the configuration page, first put a nickname for your router and to continue the configuration of the application, you need to log in using the administration credentials of your router. And here, after you put the administration credentials of your router, you see you can access all the files. And now let me disconnect from the network and connect to another network that is outside my home network. And you notice now that I can access the files and folders that are provided by AI Cloud, even if I am outside of my home network. By the way, all the devices that you saw in this video, that is the router and the USB key, I have link for these devices in the description. This is an Amazon affiliate link. I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you if you make a purchase using my link. And this will help my channel greatly. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.